This is Aosta berry and it's the first time it's bearing fruit this year. First time we can harvest berries, which is always exciting, of course. Yosta berry is a hybrid between black currant and gooseberry. And we have both those in our garden as well. But now we can harvest yosta berries for the first time. Yes, and there are so many of them. Look at this. It's amazing. Yeah. It's like berries are everywhere. It's growing really fast, so we like that, of course. It's mm -hmm. nice for the hedge. And the fact that it's uh, bearing fruits is a bonus for us. <laughs> yeah. What's interesting to me is that the Yosta berry was only created recently in the 80s mm -hmm. in Germany. Mm -hmm. So older generations probably didn't know that, at least not from their childhood or something. Mm -hmm. That's cool. They're only getting ripe, so I'm only trying to harvest the darkest ones. Yes, yes, we will not pick yeah. all of them now. So they they are getting ripe gradually. Yeah. Not all of them at once. Maybe in one week we'll harvest more. Mm -hmm. Probably we will. Yeah. It's time to taste the Yosta berries. It's a little bit sour, like currants, mm -hmm. but also sweet, like gooseberries. So you can you can feel, I think, both tastes in there, both flavors. Mm -hmm. But they're very juicy and refreshing. I think it's perfect for this hot summer weather. It's interesting that we planted these two Yosta berries at the same time. And this one is so huge and this one is much smaller. Mm -hmm. It's still growing. It has new gains, quite big ones somewhere. Yeah, and there are fruits. Yeah. But it looks like it's maybe one year younger. Yeah. <laughs> we have these Patty Pan squashes here. And there are fruits. And they can grow quite quickly. So I'm going to pick a few of them. This year we don't have any zucchini. Because slugs were very rude. And they ate all of them, all the small plants. But this could be used similarly and it should be nice. So I will show you. It's interesting that they are growing like right here. Uh -huh, in the not, middle of the plant. Not on the crawlers. Not like something. pumpkins, right? Mm -hmm. It's different. But it's similar to zucchini. They do the same thing. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so Ooh. this is a nice size. It's quite young, so it should be okay. They look like little UFOs. <laughs> yeah. So How many do you want to harvest before we try one? I don't know, maybe this one is enough. Or maybe one of these. Yes. The same, but it's, it's like higher or uh -huh. something. So, mm -hmm. here we have two and I will cook them. We never had them before, I'm curious. We've never had ours. Yeah, that's what We've I meant. We've had, of course, these Patty Pan squashes. We've never grown them. But these are ours, and that's always a better feeling. We've been harvesting Yosta berries for two weeks already. This is two days harvest, and it's always quite a lot. We are always waiting for them to get ripe. They are getting ripe gradually. So we are only picking the darkest ones. They are the sweetest, but still kind of sour. And it's great that there are so many of them. But that's not all. Here, raspberries are starting, but very slowly. <laughs> so only a small amount this time. And this is the last of Saskatoon berries. So not huge amount, but still it's very nice. Mm, yummy. When we are saying that they are not doing well in our garden, <laughs> uh, in that case, this is a very nice amount. Still a success. Yeah. Can you see? I always love when there is variety of berries. <laughs> yeah. It looks always so pretty. All the different shapes and different colors in these bowls. I really like it. Yeah, it looks delicious. Yes, so we are turning into a berry garden 
or something. We have so many various berries. Which is what we wanted. Yes. We are walking in our garden, picking various berries, just a few here and there. There are yosta berries and mulberries, blackberries and various raspberries, but just small amounts. But here there are blueberries, our first blueberries here, and they are so big. Look at this one and here more. I don't know if you can see something. They are huge, I think. So it's amazing. In the year zero, is this a year zero or the <laughs> first year? Okay, we planted them in spring and yay. It's always so exciting when you have something for the first time. Five. Five Ooh. blueberries. Yay. Can I eat them? Sure. Right now? Mm hmm. Yes. Yummy. Wow. Yum, yum, yum. Blueberry like. Mm hmm. Yay. <laughs> We are finally going to mow our meadow. We haven't done it for a very long time and we didn't feel like mowing it because there's always something blooming there, some wildflowers. Mm -hmm. But we have to do it at some point. So I think uh, now that the grass is all dry and yellow, I think we can go ahead. Yes. Since the grass was so tall, it was going quite slowly. You need a lot of patience while doing this, but luckily Tommy doesn't mind. Oh yeah, we haven't mentioned. The neighboring property is turning into a wedding venue, which might sound romantic, but not when it's right next to you and in the evening there is loud music playing. Oh well, at least it doesn't happen very often. It hasn't rained for like a month or something. So of course, immediately when Tommy started <laughs> mowing our meadow, a thunderstorm is trying to come. But we actually love it, of course, because we need rain immediately. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like I have a mandatory break. Yes, so it's good for Tommy as well. And yeah, we are praying there is a bit higher amount of rain this time because it doesn't look good uh, and so far it's not very strong so wish us luck guys we need a lot of water a lot of rain We are refreshed, at least the garden is. Not huge amounts of rain, but it feels so much better. The air is fresher and we don't have to water today. So, yay, amazing. The thunderstorm went that way and now the sun came out and it's amazing. There are so many red currants always on this shrub. Sometimes birds eat them. Not this year. We picked a lot of them. And this is some kind of late variety because other currants, like they were in their prime a month ago or so. So it's so interesting and we like it because you can have currants for longer. And yeah. I like the bounty. Since we picked a lot of red currants, I baked this cute cake for the first time ever. So last year I baked something similar but with strawberries. And this is the first time with red currants. 
so it will be more on the sour side and or you could add more sugar no we won't add <laughs> more sugar that would be unhealthy and this is yum mm -hmm. mm, guys I am a great baker <laughs> mm. Mm. so fresh still warm <laughs> yes still warm how is it it's what I expected it's very good with sour currents mm -hmm. <laughs> it, would, it would have been better with strawberries but we have yes. red currants now we have to work with what we have yes. so red currants are here <laughs> We have some new wildflowers here that we planted last autumn. So now they are blooming for the first time and there are bees flying around them. There's one here pollinating it at the moment, which is cute. I like watching that. But the main reason why we are here is the sea buckthorn here. It has a lot of fruits, as you can see, for the first time since we planted it three years ago. Wow. So that's really exciting. This year that's been happening with a lot of shrubs that we planted approximately three years ago. Mm -hmm. So we are finally harvesting the fruit of our labor. And so we are ready to start harvesting them. They are quite tough to torn away, so hopefully they are ripe. It, it should be like that. I've read about that, ah. that they are hard to pick. They hold okay. strongly on the stamps or whatever that is. I can confirm that. Mm -hmm. So it's all according to plan. <laughs> and it looks like the other shrub next to me also has some fruits. Yes, this one. But oh. yours has the most. What happened? They have thorns. See, mm -hmm. back thorn has thorns. Okay, so guys, you have to be careful. They are not exactly good uh, to eat raw, just like that, because they are very sour. Yeah, it basically tastes like eating raw lemon, mm -hmm. but that's great uh, to use instead of lemons, right? Because we don't have lemons in our climate, mm -hmm. so if you need to add lemon to your recipe, you could add sea buckthorn probably. Yeah, probably. So it's a different kind of sour to red currants, for example. They are sour too, but this is different. Mm -hmm. This is really lemon-like yeah. and they shine in the sunshine now. <laughs> I like the color. Tommy couldn't bear it, so we had to switch because it hurts Okay. when you pick sea buckthorns. And I am sturdier or something. Sturdier. You are more manly, yes. <laughs> exactly. So it's my job now to pick these fruits and it goes easy for me. I okay. don't know, honey. So we found your assignment. And I like them. I like the taste. Wow, fell down. Oh, yeah, really sour. <laughs> wow. But, yeah, I like that it's different. You need to have variety in your garden. We need to have variety. Because otherwise it would be boring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they should be super healthy. There should be a lot of vitamin C and of course some other good stuff, but I don't know which stuff. <laughs> mm. We have three big ones here and you always need a male. These are females and here we have the male plant so like they need him <laughs> to have babies to have babies for yes. us to harvest and we planted two additional ones here and here so this will be a very rich sea buckthorn corner actually we planted three here is one as well but it's dead because of voles yeah. There is a big hole and they destroyed the roots and 
now the plant is over. So it's a constant battle with walls, but we are used to that already. So yeah, we are fighting. It's getting better every year. Yeah. Here for the first time ever, we have cucumbers, but this kind. We've never planted these before. Uh, we call them snake cucumbers, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's the most common kind which they sell as uh, uh, veggies <laughs> in supermarkets. Yes. So it's this kind. And we use them quite regularly in one of our meals. So it's nice to have our own. Yes, <laughs> it's very nice. Yeah. So will we pick both of them or just this? Uh, I guess the second one is could be also picked, right? Yes, I think it's ready. And there's a third one growing, which is small. Yeah, we will wait for that one. Yeah. Okay, so let me harvest the second one as well. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So we've had different varieties before, mm -hmm. but not this one. And this one is the tastiest, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. So it looks like it's possible to grow them here. We will try again next year. Yeah, we were fighting with the slugs and everything yeah. always, but really it's great that it's a success. And fourth one is trying to grow as well, tiny one. Okay, I am very happy to hear that. I can see another petty pen squash ready to be harvested. There are so many fruits here. Yeah. It's doing really well. So I will try to harvest it. Easy. This one is very picturesque. <laughs> yeah, so I like the shape. Bit green. Yeah, but sometimes they are like a mixture between ah. white and green, okay. and that should be okay. I don't really have any experience with it. We've never had it. Like when I was growing up with mm -hmm. my mom and my parents, I, I don't remember seeing this ever. So you are gaining experience now. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> We have also onions ready to be harvested. Uh, you can see that the green part fell down, which means that uh, the plant is over. Yeah, not on all of them. Yeah. That one is going straight up still, but the majority is ready to be harvested. But they are kind of flat, the, the bulbs. Uh -huh. They didn't become round as you would expect. Yeah. Maybe it's because of our soil. Maybe it was too hard on it, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting, maybe. So the shape is kind of weird. But some of them are quite nice, you can see this one will be nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So it's still bigger than the little one that we planted mm -hmm. in the spring. Uh, but so far we've never had like really big, nice onions. Mm -hmm. Our garlics are always amazing, but onions are always... Uh, yeah, but we don't mind that much because we don't eat as many onions as other people do. That's true, we hardly ever buy onions. Mm -hmm. So it's okay with us. It's just a bonus. Yes. In this corner or whatever this is, we have five gooseberry shrubs and this one is bearing fruits. Just a few. They are kind of young, these shrubs, right? Mm -hmm. So it's great that we have fruits already. And I have to say, they are so much better than Yosta berries because this is sweet. Yostas are hybrid between this gooseberries and black currants, and black currants are sour. So yosta berries are somewhere in between, but still more on the sour side. And these gooseberries, they are so much sweeter. Yeah. Yum. So I am looking forward to these ones when there are a lot of fruits. Mm, me too. Hopefully they will grow quickly. Yes. It's so nice to be able to expect more and more in the garden. All the fruits and veggies make it so exciting. During summer, when we come to the country house, there is always something new waiting for us. 
so we'll see what awaits us next time. Give us a like and see you guys in another video. Bye!